Warning, this does contain spoilers. Consume at your own risk. Hello, have you seen this amazing show? I sure have, and I think it's about time we type their characters. It's already been out a month, and there is not a single blog post telling me what their types are for me to confirm my biases. So, without further ado, I want to show you what these amazing characters are, as per my perception. There's a lot of characters, so let's go ahead and hop right in. First and foremost, we have the leader of the Umbrella Academy, Sir Reginald Hargreaves, aka the Monocle. Now, he is always stowed away at his desk, always alone, always working on his research, always trying to perfect his research, and he is quite a jerk to the children as he constantly makes them practice over and over and over again and pushes them to their absolute extreme. He is always thinking about the big picture. How can he save the world? He knows that these children are going to help save the world, so he pushes them. He even admits at one point that he knows that they are not living up to their potential, and there's a lot of things that he hides from the children because they, quote, don't need to know. You do find out later on that he does have a heart and he does care and he wants to protect them. However, he never shows that in any capacity. With all that being said, I believe that Sir Reginald Hargreaves is a stereotypical INTJ. Then we have number one, Luther. He is your stereotypical duty fulfiller. Things must be done the correct way, the right way. He is loyal to a fault. He believes his father's convictions completely and fully and has not a shadow of a doubt. That is, until something happens which deconstructs his entire worldview, throws everything he knows about the world out of the window, and he has a complete and utter breakdown. Not many would have a breakdown to the degree that he did were they not the stereotypical ISTJ. Sorry, not saying that all ISTJs would have a mental breakdown. Okay, bye. Number two, Diego is a brooding teenager stuck in an adult's body. He's constantly leaving the room, throwing temper tantrums, telling everyone how stupid they are, while secretly, deep down, he actually does care about them, and he shows it through his actions, though his words would lead you to believe otherwise. He is a man of little words, but always thinking, is this a logical decision for me to make? giving almost no regard to if the group agrees on his plans. He tends to run in wild with, I'm going to take care of this kind of mentality, with not really caring if anyone else is going to help him. He's very aware of his external surroundings and very good at understanding it, and is a vigilante in his free time. He is an ISTP. Allison, number three, is a woman who knows what she wants and how she wants it and will make sure that you know. Her superpower actually makes it to where she can charm you into doing what she wants you to do. Though, in the show, she's trying not to do it because she knows there's something wrong with manipulating people, even though it's gotten her to where she is in her life. She is always aware of the group dynamics and raising people up who need it and telling other people to back down when they need it as well. And did I mention she has some of the most gorgeous eyes I have ever seen? Anyway, she's an ENFJ. Number four, Klaus, is absolutely my favorite character. He's the one you love to hate and hate to love for his, like, obtuse comedy, his just slapstick kind of humor. He is the comedic relief, but he actually has a very great character arc. He goes through some major change. Anyway, he is... A drug addict because he sees dead people and can't handle it, but he starts to get a handle on that part of himself and really grows as a character. He has this sort of charisma that he can turn on and off, and he's actually quite a good actor. He is thinking about the logical decision, not so much if it's morally correct. Honestly, he might be completely blind to understanding if things are morally correct. But overall, he is a wonderful character and example of what an ESTP is. Number five has no name, but what he lacks in name, he makes up for in age, as he is a 60-some-odd-year-old man stuck in the body of a 12-year-old, a 12-year-old in love with the upper bust of a mannequin. He is wildly trying to work on his theories and his 
possible answers that could be the solution. He trusts his own logic above anybody else's and is often not telling anybody his plans. He runs off doing his own thing, much like number two Diego. Though he can be even worse as he tells absolutely nobody what's going on inside his noggin, not even what he understands to be the inevitable annihilation of humanity. He is a great example of an INTP. Number six, Ben, is only ever seen as a ghost, and we never really get to hear him talk very much. We do know that he can summon otherworldly creatures that have tentacles and can kill a lot of people. And we also know that he can punch number four, Klaus, but that's about all we know about him, so I'm not going to type it because I really have not enough information to even give a gander. Number seven, Vanya, is yet another amazing character. She is awkward and quiet and has trouble believing in herself. Well, that's because nobody ever has. But she is a highly emotional character who's constantly trying to suppress her emotions via medication. However, later, she is able to manifest using her emotions and listening to the beautiful sounds that are around her to utilize her powers. If she is not a blaring metaphor for an ISFP, I don't know what is. Next is Pogo. He's your friendly butler chimpanzee who is the right-hand man of Sir Reginald Hargreaves. Is he easy to type? No, because he's old, and he's well-developed himself all around. But if I had to give a random guess, I'd say an INFJ. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I thought ISTJ. I thought, I mean, he could be any type that's introverted. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Grace, the mom, is actually a robot. She was programmed to take care of the seven children so that Mr. Hargreaves could do whatever the heck he wanted. She's always making them pancakes with smiley faces and telling them, you can do it, you got this. She is friendly to a fault and constantly just wants to show her love and affection to her favorite children in the world and everyone else that she possibly can. I mean, come on, she's a stereotypical mom. What other type can I give her but ESFJ? Two assassins come into the picture, Hazel and Cha-Cha. Hazel is your deadly, dangerous, super strong, super stamina man, and Cha-Cha is this lean, mean fighting machine. They together are trying to kill all the time. Cha-Cha is, you know, the kind of lady who wants to get things done right and get them done quickly. She doesn't want to mess around and she just wants to follow the ways that she knows work and doesn't want to have to worry about anything. She's an ESTJ. Hazel, on the other hand, is a sugar donut loving, kindly man who actually, secretly, really cares about everybody. He's been going soft over the last years, letting more and more people slide without actually killing them. He wants to escape and live free in his last days. He is an ESFP. Agnes is the kind lady who owns the donut shop and has a dream of opening a vegan donut shop one day. Why she doesn't just turn her current one into one? That's because of her personality. She loves birds. She knows every kind of bird just by looking at it and has a dream of traveling the world seeing exotic birds. Is it just me or does she kind of look like one too? Anyway, she's an ISFJ. The Handler is another one of my favorite characters. She's got this air about her of arrogance that's just wonderful. She goes in and she can find the potential in people and knows who's great and who's, well, not. And she uses people to get her end goal accomplished. Yeah, her end goal might be that end goal of the commission, but what's she gonna do? You know, try to manipulate number five? I mean, whatever. It's part of who she is. She's an ENTJ. I've saved Leonard for last for various reasons, one of which being he's one of my least favorite characters. I started off loving him and I grew to not. Anyway, he's this cute little kid who wants to be a superhero but's not, so he decides he's going to befriend superheroes. I mean, pretty fine, pretty fine, um, until everything happens. Um, in terms of his personality, he's constantly trying to manipulate, so the personality that he puts off is kind of this like laid back, relaxed, artistic, kind of like INFP. You know what, at this point, I have to say, I'm a little disappointed with the Umbrella Academy. 
where is the representation of the extroverted intuitives? I mean, come on, we're great. Where are we? We're not in this show and I'm disappointed. If I'm wrong, you know, guys, feel free to let me know. I know you will anyway. I had a lot of fun typing these characters and by no means did I give you guys enough information for you to really truly trust my typing skills. However, if you feel like I got any of these wrong, or if you feel like I got any of these right, please feel free to type it down below in the comments, give this video a nice thumbs up, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos from me. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, bye!